Okay, this is my Pentax SV, uh, recently back from a CLA uh, basic, basic restoration by Eric. Uh, I haven't used the camera much, a whole lot, since I got it back from him, but uh, it's been in good functioning order every time I test fire the shutter, you know, keep everything lubed up, it's been working great. So if you're having issues with your SV, it's a little different than the uh, Spotmatic mechanism. Uh, on the Spotmatic mechanism, there's a large lever. Uh, I guess it look, would look like it's right in this area, and it's very prominently visible. Uh, and when that lever does not catch the uh, the mechanism that catches that lever that that locks the uh, shutter uh, and the mirror in their cocked position, uh, then you'll get what's uh, known as a jam. Uh, you can attempt to wind the camera on; it won't wind on. Attempt to press the shutter button, it won't release the shutter, and the camera is essentially useless. Well, on the SV, the mechanism is similar, but instead of that uh, that uh, lever that that shows that the mirror is in the cock position, moving forward this way towards the lens uh, mount, and then catching underneath the uh, the small arm there, this one, the lever is right here. It's this small black lever. Oh. My camera's auto-focusing on the screwdriver. Let's let that reset. Anyway, uh, right next to this silver piece right here, you'll see right here is a small black lever. And that small black lever, as the camera is wound on and cocked, it will catch right behind that piece right there. So if you'll watch carefully, hopefully my camera will focus on this. We're awful close. I'm going to go ahead and wind the camera slowly and you can see that black lever being brought down and catching behind that small uh, silver piece there. Okay. Once I've wound the camera on, I can release the shutter and it works fine. Now, if I artificially keep that lever from catching behind the lever and I wind it on and I release my uh, wind lever. Now the shutter won't release. I can attempt to wind. It won't go any further and the shutter won't release. So what I need to do now is I need to reset this mechanism in here and get everything set up so uh, so that it will work again. But that's just going to take me a moment and I'm not going to do that on camera. Usually, typically what you will see is the um, uh, you'll see this this piece right here uh, because I artificially captured it, it's, it's not uh, working the way it would normally fail in its, its normal fail mode, I guess you'd call it. Uh, typically, this will not be caught behind that little uh, gear there. It will actually study be forward of that, and the stud will have come all the way around. Uh, in that case, all you need to do is take a fingernail and pull this lever down and cause it to catch underneath there. Uh, it'll be under spring pressure, so it should work on its own. But anyway, that's the mechanism you need to reset to get your jammed SV working again. Okay, here I've gone and I've, uh, I've reset this lever so that it's in its normal fail mode. You can see uh, the camera is wound on and the lever is all the way forward instead of being caught underneath that, uh, that lever there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fingernail and I'm going to bring that lever down, oh, if I can. We're going to lose focus for a moment here. Ah, I see what's going on. Okay, so there's a couple of possibilities of the way that this looks like it can fail. First off, if you've not completely wound it, this small stud sticking off of that gear could be back here a little ways. If that's the case, you're in luck. You won't have to do anything with this screw and this lever, and this lever will catch. Uh, all you have to do is pull down the, uh, the lever here. It'll catch behind this lock, and you're back in business. However, if your camera has been wound fully and this uh, stud is nearly in contact with this lever, then you need to very slightly uh, loosen this screw, maybe one complete turn, until you're able to move the top of the lever just over that stud. Okay. What that'll do is that'll allow that lever to come into a position that will allow this lever to slide past it. Because as it is, if that screw were tight, this lever 
would not move any further than this and this this edge right here would block this lever from moving into position where it needs to so I'm going to attempt to reset this now so I'm going to move that lever slightly over like I said if you if yours was not fully wound on this particular hassle will not exist for you so I've moved it over now I'm going to bring this lever down easy task because it's under quite a lot of spring tension. Then I'm going to slide this back over that stud. I hope this video is going to be able to show you what's going on here. And oh, This is a rough gig boy I tell you. And there we go. We've captured it. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten that screw again. There's about a quarter of a turn, half, quarter, full. So I turned it just about, just under one and a quarter full turns. Now this is a cocked lever. Everything's in correct position. I should get a shutter fire here. And there we go. Now as I wind, you can watch the normal operation. That lever is captured by the, by the lever, the other lever, and everything's working fine again.